Hello, Christine Niles here. Before we get into headlines, please remember you can watch this and all the videos we produce over at churchmilitant.com. There's Vortex, Headlines, Download, and all sorts of free and premium shows, not to mention daily news and commentary on current events relevant to the Catholic world. Please click the link after the video, and we'll see you at churchmilitant.com. I'm Christine Niles. Today's Wednesday, November 15th, 2017. Here are your latest church militant headlines. One year after publishing the dubia, Cardinal Raymond Burke is submitting a final plea to Pope Francis to clear up confusion. In a Tuesday interview published in the National Catholic Register, the former head of the Vatican Supreme Court stressed the urgency of the Holy Father to address concerns over the crisis in the church over the issue of marriage and the sacraments with various dioceses opening up Holy Communion to the divorced and civilly remarried in contravention of long-standing Catholic teaching and practice. Burke noted that he and the remaining surviving dubia cardinal, Walter Brandmuller, remain in, quote, profound union with the two late cardinals, Joachim Meisner and Carlo Caffara, who have passed away in the course of the last months. Thus, I once again present the gravity of the situation, which is continually worsening. A petition to cancel Father James Martin's talk at a Pennsylvania Catholic University has now reached nearly 20,000 signatures. The pro-gay celebrity Jesuit is scheduled to give the winter commencement speech at Misericordia University December 17th. But since a petition was launched last week to disinvite him, it's quickly racked up more than 17,000 signatories. Martin has made a career out of trying to normalize homosexuality in the church, praising dissenting pro-gay clergy as well as promoting New Way's ministry, a group condemned by the Holy See as well as by the U.S. Bishops' Conference for its dissent on church teaching on homosexuality. The Legionaries of Christ are admitting they had offshore accounts. In a statement released Monday, the group claims the accounts were set up during the time the founder, Father Marcial Maciel, was general director and have since been closed. They also note the Vatican Review found no criminal activity associated with the accounts and insist accusations that the organization channeled millions of dollars per year through the accounts were false. The Legionaries of Christ had been racked by scandal after it was revealed that Father Maciel fathered three children and sexually abused seminarians before his death in 2008. Poland's prime minister is declaring victory in the country's dispute with the European Union over migrants. At a news conference in Warsaw Monday, Beata Szydwo, head of the conservative Law and Justice Party, identified her government's unyielding approach toward migrants from the Middle East and North Africa as one of its top achievements. Like its Central European neighbors, Poland is rejecting EU demands to admit tens of thousands of Muslims, arguing they would threaten the nation's security and undermine its Catholic identity, as they have in France. The prime minister said that owing to her administration's policies, quote, Poland is today seen in Europe as a country free of terrorism. In the UK, Catholic schools are facing pressure to conform to homosexualist ideology. It was reported Tuesday that Britain's Catholic Education Service is asking schools to drop the terms mother and father from their admission forms after a parent in London asserted the language discriminates against gays. According to an Education Service spokesman, all Catholic schools are expected to comply and will be monitored to ensure they do. A host of schools have already dropped the terms, replacing mother and father with parent one and parent two. I'm Christine Niles. Those are your church militant headlines. Please watch The Vortex today, where Michael says time is running out. And check out the download, where the panel discusses communism. God bless you. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And even better, head over to churchmilitant.com to watch headlines, vortex, download, and hundreds of hours of video, as well as read articles on our site and check out reporting you won't find at any other Catholic outfit. And don't forget, we're also on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. So please be sure to follow us there as well. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you over at churchmilitant.com. God bless.